Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. I'm so excited to be a part of the Team Tiny Sparkle Blends hop today. I'm sharing this shaker card I made featuring Doodles Paper Playground Sparkle Blends. The blends I'm using are called Kiss A Lot Of Frogs and it's also featuring the Sassy and Crafty Sassy Girls OMG stamp set as well as some pattern paper from the Echo Park Salon collection. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click that subscribe button below and also turn on the notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. So let's get started. I'm using my Misty stamping platform and I'm taking the stamp of the girl blowing a kiss and I'm running my fingers across it since it's brand new to help remove some of the stickiness. I'm placing a piece of Nina Solar Y 80 pound cardstock in the corner and I've inked up the stamp using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink since it's Copic marker friendly and that's what I'll be using to color this image. I stamped it twice just to make sure I got a good impression and now that I have this stamped I'm going to zoom in just a little bit to begin the coloring process. So I'm starting with the hair. I wanted her to be blonde so I'm using the marker colors YR20 and YR21 but you'll see here in a bit that um, this color is almost the same color as skin so I end up coloring over it with a different shade here in a little bit. So for the skin I started with E53 which is raw silk along the hairline and the edges of the face and along the eyebrows and the nose and the chin and underneath the neckline. This is my darker shade and then I came in with my um, lighter shade. I used E51 which is milky white and I use that to kind of blend out the darker shade away from those edges. And then I come back in with the E53 again to fill in the parts of the body that needed more shading. But if you're not um, interested in watching the whole coloring process, you can skip forward. I'll put the, the times in the description box below. So if you don't really want to watch me doing this color process, you can skip forward a little bit. So for her cheeks, I decided to use R20, which is blush. I used that to kind of give it a little bit of contour, and then I went back over that with E51. And then I just kind of colored in again just to make, make sure it all looked blended well. I used N8 for the lipstick tube, and then R29, which is lipstick red for the actual lipstick and then her nails. Um, then I moved on to the center portion of her lip, which I used that same R20 um, blush color. Now for her shirt, I used YG17 for the darker shade of green. And then for the lighter shade, I used YG13. So the reason I decided to do her shirt in green is so that I could tie the colors together. Most of the sequins in the sparkle blends were green and so my pattern paper didn't have any green in it so that's why I decided to do that. And here's when I decided that my hair color was too much like the color of skin so I colored over it with YR24 which is pale sepia. I used um, V01 for her eyeshadow. And then for her glasses, I first colored it with N0, which is a very light gray. And then I decided to color that in with the E53, the same color I used for the darker shade of her skin. And then I just went back over that with the gray again. And then I'm now fussy cutting this out. And after getting as much of the white off as I possibly could, I decided to take my black Copic marker and just run it along the edges. To make this shaker part of the card, I'm using a stitched edge rectangle frame die and a few sheets of pattern paper from this Echo Park Salon Collection paper pad. This is such an awesome paper pad and I think it goes great with this stamp set. So here's just a few of the different papers that come in it. Um, here's This is a 
pink with black polka dots and that's what I'll be using for one of the sheets on this card. Um, there's some borders there. Here's some um, square cutouts that you can use, some black and white stripes. This one's got some lipsticks all over it. Then this plain pink paper, this is another one that I'll be using. It's got um, lips with little tiny polka dots in the background, which you can't really see here on camera, but I thought that these two went pretty good together. So that, those are the two I'll be using for this card. But it's also got some florals in here, and this sheet here has some eyelashes on it with a hot pink background. And then um, this one has nails, um, nail polish. This one's got some salon chairs, a blow dryer, scissors, different things like that. And this one is just black combs and brushes. And then some scissors. And then, of course, these two by three cutout sheets. So I'll be making some other cards using this paper pad later on. So make sure you check back on my channel soon. So now moving back on to... Um, creating my card. Now that I have my papers, I'm going to start trimming everything down. So my card base is a sheet of black 110 pound heavyweight cardstock by Recollections that I've cut vertically at four and a quarter inches. I'm trimming the pink polka dot paper down to one eighth of an inch smaller than my base, so four and an eighth of an inch by five and three eighths of an inch. Now I'm scoring the card base at five and a half inches and placing the edges in my scoring board. And I'm using my bone folder along the scored edge to make sure that the edges line up. Since I'll be putting a black frame on top for my shaker portion, I'm cutting the pattern paper to be slightly smaller than the frame. So I just marked it with a pencil and now I'm just trimming it down. I cut out a black frame using the stitched edge rectangle die using my Big Shot machine. And now I'm taking a sheet of clear acetate and I'm trimming it down to be slightly smaller than the frame. And then I'll be adhering this acetate to the back of the black frame using some 1 8 of an inch score tape since it's a really strong adhesive. So now I'm just gluing down the layers using some Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive, which is my favorite liquid glue. It gives me just enough time to put it right where I want it. And since I'll be lifting that black frame up with some foam tape to make my shaker piece, I didn't want the edges of that pattern paper showing. So I decided to cut out another black frame just to glue directly on top of this. Now I'm adding some black foam tape that I purchased from Whimsy Stamps. I'm adding that on top of the frame close to that inner edge so that the shaker bits will show and they won't be hidden kind of behind part of the frame. And once I have cut all of my pieces, making sure that I don't have any little gaps so that the pieces can escape, then I, I really, anytime I've ever made shaker cards, for some reason the pieces tend to stick to the edges so I decided to run my powder tool along the edge to get rid of any stickiness that might be there. So next I glued in my colored image um, and then I'll be adding the sparkle blends. I just love the name of this blend, Kiss a Lot of Frogs. It has uh, tiny little lips and then different shades of green sequins and some glitter. It also has a few light blue crowns that are a little larger, so you'll see me picking a few of these out because I didn't want to cover up my image too much. But I did add quite a bit though. I wanted it to make a distinct sound whenever you shake it. But with all the bits down at the bottom, it almost looks like the girl doesn't have a shirt on until you shake it up. Now for the sentiment, I'm using the stamp that says, tell the bad stuff to kiss right off from that same Sassy Girls OMG stamp set. I used the inner rectangle black scrap 
from that dye that I used earlier and I placed it in the corner of my Misty and I rubbed it with my anti-static powder bag and then I inked up my stamp with some Versamark ink. I bought this handy little funnel tool at Hobby Lobby the other day and I love this thing. It, um, it's perfect for embossing. It's got these removable trays so that it will catch whatever you're working with and it will allow you to pour it back into the container. It's definitely worth the $4 I paid for it. So I added the white embossing powder and I brushed off the excess with a paintbrush and then I applied my heat tool. Next, I trimmed down the sentiment and then glued it to the bottom of the frame using my Tombow adhesive runner. I wanted to add a little something extra to the frame, so I pulled out the little lips from the sparkle blends and glued them down using my jewel picker. So here's the card almost finished. After shaking it around a bit, I noticed one of the sequin pieces stuck behind her ear, but it kind of looks like an earring a little bit. And since my card base is black, I needed to add a piece of white cardstock to the center so that you could write your message. I trimmed a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock down to four by five and a quarter, and I glued it down. And then I added a piece of that polka dot pattern paper to the bottom. And here's my finished card. I really hope you like it. Now as part of this hop, Doodles Paper Playground will be giving away a $10 credit to their Etsy shop to one random commenter. So be sure to comment below and let me know what you think about my card. If you click on the hashtag Team Tiny Sparkle Blends Hop in the description, you'll be able to find all of the videos from other creators participating in the hop today. After watching the other videos, give them some love, a thumbs up, a comment, and subscribe if you like what you see. For other card making inspiration, visit me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest at Cards by Kendra. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I can't wait to see you again on the next video. I'd love to have you come back, so if you haven't already clicked on that subscribe button down below, please do so, and I'll see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.